Hi everyone and welcome to a 30 minute deep core. We're gonna start lying on the back, taking a moment to ground into our practice, allowing the legs and body to hang heavy. Noticing the breath, pull the breath deep into the belly, inhaling through the nose, exhale through the nose, letting go of any stress or tension that we're holding in the body and just starting to settle in. Slowly start to wiggle the fingers and the toes, rolling out the ankles and the wrists. Inhale, arms reach up, point the toes, full body stretch. Exhale to release. Inhale to full body stretch, feel the low back peel off the mat. Exhale, release. Pulling the knees into chest. Slowly bringing the feet up towards the sky. Push the low back into the mat as we inhale. Exhale, start to lower the legs, keeping that low back pushed firmly into the mat. Feel that belly fire up. Inhale to center. Exhale, push the low back in. Slowly bring the legs down. Feel the belly. Inhale to center. Exhale to lower. Keep that belly button pulling up and in. Inhale. Exhale to lower. Use the full exhale to lower the legs. Inhale to center. Exhale, pulse the knees into chest. Arms can come out into a T or you can cactus the arms beside you. As we inhale here on the exhale, knees fall gently to the left. Gaze can stay straight ahead or come over the right shoulder. Pull the breath deep into the belly, feeling the stretch in the back. As we inhale slowly, bringing the legs back to center. Exhale as they drop over to the left. Unclench the jaw. Pull the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Letting everything be soft. Slowly on the inhale, bringing the knees back to center, rolling over onto either side. Use the bottom arm as a pillow for the head and neck. Slowly making our way into a tabletop position. Nope, sorry, not tabletop boat, just kidding. So for this variation, I put a block under the bum. This makes it a little more challenging with the balance. As you'll notice, it's a struggle here as we inhale for length or in, exhale to straighten, inhale to center, exhale, straighten. Cork blocks work a lot better than the foam ones as we inhale, exhale to pull the knees back to chest. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, pulse the knees into chest. Inhale to straighten. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, back to center, slowly bringing everything back to the mat. Rolling forward to a tabletop position. Knees are under the hips. Wrists are under the shoulders. Sweet inhale, tailbone, chest, and gaze. Reach up, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, push the mat away, round through the spine. Inhale, tailbone, chest, and gaze. Reach up. Exhale, slowly round through the spine. 
inhale tailbone chest and gaze reach up exhale round through the spine push the mat away coming back to our tabletop start to walk the hands forward melting the heart down keep the knees below the hips heart melts towards the mat forehead or chin can come down for our puppy pose opening the shoulders here feeling the compression in the low back Slowly, on the inhale, we start to walk the hands back to center. Tuck the toes. Shoulders rotate down the back. As the hips come up and back for downward facing dog, pull the navel up and in. Tailbone reaches for the sky. Chest pulls towards the thighs. Left arm reaches for the right leg in a gentle twist in our down dog. Inhale to return. Exhale, right arm for left leg, gentle twist. Inhale to center. Slowly here. Coming into our down dog, feeling the stretch, bend the knees. Take a step to the front of the mat on the inhale. Halfway lift, chest pulls forward. Inhale to reach up, knock your picture down at the exact same moment. And then struggle with it as you try to figure out how to get it back together. <laughs> the joys of filming at home. So much fun. Come to the front of the mat. Arms reach up. As we exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale to fold. Plant the palms. Inhale to high plank. Pubic bone pulls towards the chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Bend the knees. As we shift the gaze forward, we take a step to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Root through all four corners of the feet. Rise up to extended mountain. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale to sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Lead with the heart. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull the chest through the arms. Exhale to fold. Plant the palms. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders down the back. Exhale to downward facing dog. Bend the knees. As we shift the gaze forward, hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Pull the crown towards the front of the room. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, extended mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, extended mountain. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, plant the palms, step back to high plank, pubic bone pulls towards the chest. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Heels pull towards the mat. So we inhale, bend the knees, shift the gaze forward, hop, step or walk to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale to fold. Root through all four corners of the feet as we inhale to rise up, extended mountain. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, lead with the heart, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to plant the palms, step back to high plank. Exhale, slowly lower down. 
Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Heels pull towards the mat. Say hello to Maxwell. As we inhale, ripple forward to high plank. Pull the right knee into chest, step it back on the exhale. Inhale to pull it to chest, exhale, step it back. Inhale, pull it to chest, exhale, step back. Slowly coming to downward facing dog. Right leg takes flight, dial the toes down towards the mat. Weight is even in the palms. Exhale, bend the knee, pull it into chest, step it up between the palms. Left toes turn to face the long edge of the mat. Right knee over right ankle, push it out towards the pinky toe edge. As we inhale to rise up to warrior two, staying nice and centered in the body, everything is pulling up, spiral the thighs together. Slowly on the exhale, bring that right knuckle edge to the right inner palm. Extended side angle, grow long through the side body. To fire up the core, lift that right arm. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to extended side angle. You can keep that arm lifted, fire up the core. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to extended side angle. Keep the heart shining towards the sky. Slowly bring the hands on the in or frame the right toes with the palms. So we inhale, spiral the thighs together, rise up to high lunge, high on the balls of the left toes. So we exhale, elbow or arms come out into a T, gentle twist. On the exhale, slowly bring the hand down to the mat. Inhale to rise up to twisted lunge. Exhale, lower the hand down. Inhale to rise up to twisted lunge. Exhale, slowly bring both hands down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Slowly on the inhale, start to ripple forward to high plank. Left knee this time as we pull that knee into chest. Exhale, set it back. Pull the knee to chest. Exhale, set it back. Pull the knee into chest. Exhale, set the toes back, downward facing dog. As we inhale, the left toes take flight. Dial the toes down towards the mat. Exhale, bend the knee, pull it into chest, round the spine, push the mat away, set the toes down between the palms. Right toes turn to face the long edge of the mat. Right, left knee over left ankle. As we inhale to rise up to warrior two. Shoulders are down the back, spiral the thighs together, stay nice and centered over the body. Slowly here, spiral the thighs together, slow the breath. Left knuckle edge comes for left inner thigh. Right arm reaches for the sky extended side angle. You can lift the hand. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to extended side angle. Option to leave that hand lifted. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, option to keep that arm lifted. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Taking a breath here on the exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the left toes. Spiral the thighs together as we inhale, lead with the heart. Rise up to high lunge. Right toes stacked high on the balls of the right toes as we exhale, twisted lunge. Slowly bringing that left arm down, the right arm down. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to bring the right arm down. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to bring the right arm down. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, frame the toes. 
plant the palms, step back to downward facing dog. Navel's pulling up and in. As we inhale, we're going to start to ripple the body forward to high plank. Pubic bone pulls towards the chest. Option to drop the knees. As we exhale, we lower down halfway. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, push up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders down the back, a long neck. Exhale to tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. As we slowly start to shift the gaze forward, we can hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up. Extended mountain. Exhale, palms to heart center. Don't mind me as I get my dog to move out of the way. Slowly on the inhale, lift the left leg. Step the toes back. Dip the knee down. Stand back up. Let's do the same on the other side. The right leg comes back, tap the toes down, bend into that knee as we inhale, come back to mountain. Same on the other side, kick the toes back, high lunge. Inhale to mountain. Exhale, kick the toes back to high lunge. Inhale to mountain. Sweep the arms up, extended mountain. Exhale, palms to heart center. Root in through the left toes. Weight shifts onto the left leg. Lift the right knee. Twist over towards the right for balancing twist. As we exhale, start to kick the toes back, coming into our half moon, trying to stack the shoulders, pulling the chest forward. Keep the toes flexed towards the face. Inhale, bend the knee, rise back up to balancing twist. Exhale, sets everything down. Weight shifts onto the right toes as we inhale, the left knee takes flight. Balancing twist, twisting over to the left. Exhale, start to kick the left toes back, half moon. Pull the chest forward, navel pulls up and in. Exhale to bend the knee, swing the legs back up, balancing, twist, roll the shoulders down the back. Everything comes to center on the exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, lead with the heart full. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, plant the palms. Step back to high plank. Pubic bone pulls towards the chest. Drop to the knees as we bring the forearms onto the mat. Elbows are under the shoulder. Step back to forearm plank. Pubic bone pulls towards the chest. Slowly on the exhale, hover the knees. Inhale, forearm plank. Exhale, hover the knees. Inhale to forearm plank. Exhale, hover the knees. Inhale to forearm plank. Exhale to dolphin pose. Adjust the feet as you need. Keep that core pulling up and in. Feel the stretch through the shoulders. Slowly on the exhale, bringing the knees down to the mat. Coming into a tabletop position. Start to walk the hands back towards the knees. We're going to come into a camel variation called dancing camel. So we tuck the toes. Inhale, we sweep the right arm back. Lift that left arm up. Open the heart. Everything's pulling up. Inhale to rise up. Bring the right arm up. Left hand comes down towards the left heel. Open the heart. 
inhale to rise up bring that right arm down towards the right heel inhale to rise up exhale we start to tilt back challenging the core here seeing how far back you can go inhale to center keep the toes tucked as we sink the bum back towards the heels getting a stretch through the toes letting the spine settle here hands can come to heart center hands can stay on the thighs maybe the hands are in front of you putting weight into them making this a little more attainable coming to our tabletop tap out the toes inhale tailbone chest and gaze reach up exhale to round through the spine inhale tailbone chest and gaze reach up exhale slowly round through the spine inhale tailbone oh inhale le right leg comes forward coming into a low lunge you can crawl the left leg back keep the chest pulling forward knee is over the ankle inhale lifts the body up exhale the right arm comes for that left thigh opening the heart here keep the shoulders away from the ears sweet exhale slowly bringing everything back down to the mat inhale to tabletop position tailbone chest and gaze reach up exhale to round through the spine inhale tailbone chest and gaze reach up exhale round through the spine inhale tailbone chest and gaze reach up exhale to round through the spine inhale to tabletop bring that left leg forward right toes start to crawl back pull the heart forward knee is over the ankle here as we inhale slowly start to lift the arms left hand comes for that right thigh right arm reaches up feel the opening here pull the breath deep into the backs of the thighs as we exhale to bring the hands to the mat bring the left toes back exhale to downward facing dog inhale to wave forward exhale slowly lower down inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog exhale to downward facing dog start to crawl the hands back towards the feet coming into a forward fold at the back of our mat inhale to halfway lift pull the chest forward exhale to fold slowly start to heel toe the feet so that they fall just off the mat option to lift up and sink the bum down this is yogi squat or option from our forward fold to sink the hips down use the elbows to open the knees everything is pulling upward you can stay here or on the exhale you can maybe grab a block or start to transition into crow pose bring the knees high up into the armpits as we exhale slowly start to bring the body forward you can bring a block under the toes this is really going to help to train that belly to come up and in so that you're using the core here and we're not just relying on the arms it's also going to help you as you become familiar with this posture keeping the gaze forward slowly on the exhale coming back to yogi squat windshield wipering the legs up into a forward fold start to crawl the hands forward as we come back to downward facing dog adjusting the feet as we need slowly on the exhale we start to drop the knees down swing the legs out to the side coming to sit on the bum rooting down through the sits bones legs are out long toes are flexing towards the face so we inhale sweep the arms up exhale hinge at the hips and melt the heart forward keep the chest pulling forward inhale to rise exhale to melt the heart down inhale to rise exhale melt the heart down 
out. Slowly keep the chest pulling forward. Once you've reached your edge with the chest pulling forward, shoulders away from the ears, then you can round the crown of head and neck, feeling this deep in the backs of the legs. Seated, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rising up. Coming to come down to our mat. You can put a block between the thighs as we slowly use the core to lower us down. See how long you can keep that going. Knees pull into the chest. Using that block here as we lower the right leg, keep the left knee pulled in. Inhale, right knee comes up. Exhale to lower the left knee. Keep the block there just for some stabilization. Exhale to lower the right leg. Inhale to center. Exhale to lower the left leg. Inhale to center. Now we're going to fire it up just a bit. Keep the, or the block there. As we inhale, bring that right side to, or left elbow towards the right knee. Lowering the left leg. As we inhale to center, exhale, right leg lowers, right elbow to left knee. Inhale to center, keep this going, lowering the leg, bringing the opposite side to the opposite knee. Exhale, you can release the blocks slowly as we come into our happy baby pose, grabbing for the big toes, really tagging some weight in the elbows here, pulling the hips open. Shoulders are away from the ears. Tailbone is pulling down towards the mat. If it doesn't work to grab the toes, you can grab the outer edges of the feet, whatever feels good. Slowly pulling the knees into chest. Setting the legs out long, coming into our final resting posture, Shavasana. Settling in here, allowing body some rest. Allow the breath to be natural. Thank you so much for joining me here. Namaste.